This is one of the most incredible places that I've ever experienced in my life. Here on the Kananaskis River, the dam at the top of the river actually turns the river off. When they turn the dam on, it gives us the playground for all kinds of river users, but specifically river surfers. I've been river surfing for almost 10 years now. This is my 10th year. Uh, I was hesitant at first. And the first wave I got on, it was just downstream from here, stood up my first ride and I was hooked. This is the very first river surfing specific feature that we've been able to build here on the Kananaskis. With the help of Neil Eggsgard and the Surfing Hour Project, he's been able to design and we've been able to build this, this incredible surf wave that exists in the, in the Rocky Mountains. And it's only the beginning. So as we learn and get feedback from all the new riders that are coming out and surfing this wave, we're developing new designs and, and, and creating an even better space for spectators so that we can take it from just being a sole wave and building it into a whole community of river surfers. Okay, so today we're gonna to be doing a lot of belly riding on our stomach. So one of the things Rocky Mountain River Surfing provides is a two hour lesson. Uh, this is the introductory to river surfing. So this is good coming from an ocean surfing background or if you're do, doing other board sports like stand up paddle boarding, snowboarding, or really just, you know, you wanna give it a shot, this is the place to start. We break the lesson into dry land training and in river coaching. Uh, we cover everything that you need to do know for river surfing so that that can continue on past the lesson itself. If you feel yourself kind of drifting away, that's when the paddling comes in. I took my first lesson a few days ago and really enjoyed it, so I'm back for more. My goal today is to actually stand up on the board. I can belly surf, but I'm not standing up yet, so that's what I have to work on. I was a little nervous at first, but I have a lot of river experience, so I'm comfortable with the river. The Kananaskis River is controlled and it's very, very friendly, so no, not too nervous. One of the biggest hazards in a river that you're dealing with is you have a moving current, so it's pushing you in places you don't always want to go, and then the rocks. Like any sport, it comes with its risks, and it's just learning how to, to navigate those risks and put yourself into situations in a very safe and controllable way. For me, river surfing is my passion, and to be able to share that with people, to be able to see them stand up for their first time or have that excitement and joy, it just brings me back to my first ride and, and kind of keeps that stoke alive. And that's why we're all here, that's why we surf, is because that stoke. <laughs>